Tony Khan confirms AEW will show the real backstage footage from All In. AEW has a great track record of delivering what we advertise, and it is real glass. I mean, real footage. The Young Bucks will show backstage footage from All In, the most important event in AEW history, the world record holder for the most tickets ever sold for any wrestling record, over 81,035 total. And it was an important night backstage as well. Now, number one, we know they're doing this to get the ratings boost, you know what I'm saying? This is Tony Khan has a major announcement, a groundbreaking announcement. This this is the ratings boost that AEW likes to do. Cool. They do this all the time. So it's not, it doesn't like, oh, it's not like a groundbreaking thing. Do I care? Or I should ask you, do you care that AEW is showing this footage? Because me personally, I'm not looking at this for anything besides a, a laugh. I just think it's going to be funny to watch. If CM Punk put the beat down on Jungle Boy, I'm going to laugh. If Jungle Boy put the beat down on Punk, I'm going to laugh. If no one did anything and they were just swinging and Samoa Joe broke them up, I'm still going to laugh. Maybe harder. Now, CM Punk had the whole interview with Ariel Hawani. And from CM Punk's perspective, you would think that he is kind of insinuating that he didn't do anything wrong. He was more so defending himself out of respect for himself. And CM Punk is an amazing talker. So if he wants you, if he wants to deliver a point, he's going to deliver it perfectly. In most cases, he's going to deliver exactly what he wants you to think, exactly what he wants you to know, how he's thinking it. You know what I'm saying? Now, Jungle Boy is doing his whole scapegoat thing in New Japan. Um, I ain't going to lie. I have not been really tapped into it. I've been only getting my, my reps on it just by people who are actually watching what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't really have any bad feeling towards Jungle Boy, so um, it doesn't really strike me as like anything crazy. The scapegoat thing, it's its cool to me a little bit. Um, if something comes from it as far as him coming back to AEW or not, I don't know. I saw him rip, the, rip up the AEW contract on that one show, and that was cool, you know, but I don't know. Beyond the ratings boost, you know what I'm saying? Because I think it was last week or the week before, it was reported that AEW Dynamite got like the worst ratings that they've had in what three, four years or something like that. Um, I personally planned on watching Dynamite this week because I want to see Adam Copeland versus Pentagon. I that that's gonna be the one. I'm gonna be on the couch with my shirt off. I, I'm waiting for that. And of course, hopefully seeing Mercedes Monet do anything. But um, at least for the main event, I was perfectly planning on tuning in on Wednesday. But, um, and I think Joe is fighting um, Blue Dust, I, I believe. I think that's going down. Blue Dust is Dustin Rhodes, Cody Rhodes' brother. I, I call him Blue Dust because blue, gold dust, he wears blue, red, blue, blue dust. I don't really want to watch that one, but I, I, I think that's like the main event or something. But I just don't know. First of all, I don't like the Bucks anyway. I despise what the, everything the Bucks do. So I'm not going to be really excited to watch them talk to me about anything. Um, I think this is going to be either a skit or just made to look CM Punk look make CM Punk look like the worst person, and um, that's the thing. That's why I'm not really. If this was like footage from like the arena that AEW did not access or CM Punk did not access, it wasn't going to be edited and stuff like that. This footage can be edited, cut, doctored. This could this this footage could look like Punk is in there just punching everyone in the face. You know what I'm saying? And thing is. Even if he was, let's say we see this footage and CM Punk is just back there giving go to sleeps to everyone he sees. Tony, uh, freaking Joe, Jungle Boy, every, everyone's getting a, a GTS. Just He's back there swinging, swanging. Um, I don't know any, any of the diehard CM Punk fans that I've come across and some that I know personally, they're not going to not be a CM Punk fan now because of that. If anything, that'll probably make them be, uh, a more, <laughs> a bigger CM Punk fan. And that's what I think Tony Khan is confused about. He, I Part of me thinks that he thinks this footage is going to, like, make CM Punk the bad guy. And for a lot of people, CM Punk will never be the bad guy. I'm just going to say that right now. CM Punk could do whatever he wants to, and he'll never be the bad guy. So for this to come out now, and AEW's in control of it, and they can edit it, and they're promoting it so they can get a rating, and they're doing this at WrestleMania weekend. It just seems like they're, they're, they're trying to pull something off that very well could work, but at the same time, it may not work the way they want it to. But I don't know, man. Um, 
again, I will be watching Dynamite. Um, I guess I have to watch it from the beginning now. I don't know when they're showing this footage. Uh, but I, I, like I said before, this is really just going to be a laugh for me. Um, I really don't care if CM Punk is like, say CM Punk just completely lied about everything and he's just completely the aggressor here. That's just going to be 10 times more funny for me. I ain't going to lie. That's just me personally. Um, and that that's for anybody else. If Jungle Boy was the aggressor, he was just knocking it out. I'm going to laugh. This is, I, I'm not, I'm not in the mindset of like, oh, let, let's, let's make 18 think pieces about these wrestlers doing that. I don't, I don't care. I really don't, you know what I'm saying? If you care, let me know, you know? But um, if you're a Jungle Boy fan, die hard, you're not going to care. It's not going to change your opinion, you know what I'm saying? If you're a CM Punk fan, die hard. It's not going to change your opinion. If you're an AEW fan till, till the end, you're not going to stop watching AEW no matter how this backstage footage looks, you know what I'm saying? Um, as I'm saying, I think everyone, since so much time has passed, everyone is has picked their side, I'll say. You know, but there's three sides to a story. You got the one person, you got the other person, and then you got the middle. And that, that that's where the truth lies. You know what I'm saying? This video could be the truth or this video could be completely edited to make punk look bad. And I that, that's what I'm fully prepared for. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. That's why the footage doesn't really matter to me, because this is AEW footage being shown on AEW programming. So they're not going to make AEW look anything besides, for lack of a better term, elite. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to see Tony Khan get punched around unless it makes Punk look like a, a bad person. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not going to make AEW look trash unless Punk is the one making the trash, like, uh, making the trash occur. You know what I'm saying? So it's, you just got to, I don't know. The main point is, it don't really matter. Um... Don't take it too seriously. I, I, I don't, at least. If you want to, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? But um, Wednesday will be a show that he gets those ratings. I will say that. Um, and then we'll see what happens, I guess, man. Y'all let me know how you feel about it, man.